Hello, my name is Christian. You could call me Christian Sellers, and my life has been a roller coaster. Hold on, let me tell her. My folks was really dwelling, don't you dare call them a dweller, and my life hasn't been easy. I ain't talking Jerry Heller. First, we're gonna start way back to when my people had peace. Though we didn't have it all, we didn't have the least. Her life was all bent up like a shoe in a crease. Had a beautiful baby boy born in Northeast. Born in Northeast, brought home healthy, good, happy home they was in. Then they moved to Deanwood, and Deanwood all loved. They really witnessed hate, packed up all their things, then they moved to Wingate. Not gonna lie, Wingate was cool. My uncle was a fool, and it's where I learned to swim. Ghetto life, God, ghetto pool, but I was ghetto too. To who? To the hood? Mama said, never mind, we moved back to Deanwood. Though we was back in Deanwood, our life was not hell. My uncle always had a job, so he ain't never go to jail. My life has been a journey and I'll never leave a trail. We was deep in Deanwood cause it was a house of 12. Deanwood was kinda nice courtesy to my cousins that we moved and they moved, but we moved to Frederick Douglass. Now, now we in Frederick Douglass, in the middle of Southeast and peaceful it was not. And I'm not just saying that because a young man got shot, I'm saying that cause a relative got hot and we was fiending for my sister and he tried to scheme for plot, but thank God he was caught before something really popped. Fans got called and the jail cell was where he was dropped. Then the violence had to stop. Life has been harder than a rock. Now we moving out Maryland, so says my pops. Now we in for Washington. No police sirens. This don't feel real. No crackheads debating. Can you imagine how it feel? Don't gotta look over your shoulder to make sure a straight bullet don't hit you. Don't gotta worry about none of that. Or if your mama's gonna miss you. So for about two years, Fort Washington was the best, and I stayed getting that fight. So yeah, I was a mess, but still I was a scholar. I was acing on my test. Um, but um. You know, all of that took a turn when my mom got cancer and rest, so. And it made me get depressed and it put me out of place. It was the seed that grew my anger issues because at this point, if you spoke against my mama, I would punch you in the face, then it grew and it grew. So I was real going through and it definitely was no maybe. Did I mention the year before all that? My auntie Jazz lost her baby. Her name was baby Sarah, named after her grandmother. And though I never met her, I promised that I loved her. The next year or so, I was cool and always said what's happening. And now I'm in middle school and got better with my rapping. I could keep where I was fooling. Pretty girls, booty be slapping. I thought I was macking, selling snacks, making green. Now in the middle of seventh grade, we got to go on something called quarantine. So now I'm doing school on a computer and working off a desk. Uh, I cut off all my friends, looking up the answer keys to every test. My uncle bought me my first chain. Then they moved out of their crib in the trenches and still it was the best. Around this time, I started going to HB Stu to work on my very first album, Confidence Over Less Depressed. My whole family caught COVID. That wasn't even the start. Formals on virtual learning. No reason to look sharp. Also fell out with my right hand, man. He just had to get dropped going through this whole thing while auditioning for Duke Ellington School of the Arts. If I were, if I were to go there, would it have to be out of luck? Would it be because my god mommy just got me my puppy Pluto? So if I were to go, I would have to give him up. I cried and I pleaded, but my feelings I tucked. And in the middle of the audition, while in the back of a truck on the way to my god mommy crib, because my aunts got too loud, COVID began taking over, but still I wasn't mad. And um, in the middle of my second audition, I thought about what I had, so as I read the monologue, I began to spaz. Did they love it? Did I look like a fool? I guess it meant something, because I got into the school. It was humongous, like the White House. I thought it was pretty cool. And my department was theater, so you was knowing that we ruled. And I also met a few nice people, you see. From my man's lock, Randall, to my boy Kyrie. Reunited with Skipper, met HOD. Then we made top five the best group to be. Then um, I started getting into trouble too much, you know. Thought that I was tough. I was just trying to prove that Cold Chris was not a bluff. Fell in love once or twice, girl, you know that it's us. Then I started working on my second album, uh, Diamond in the Rough. Got in trouble one more time. Not gonna say what it was about. Just know it was big enough to where my folks pulled me out. Now, I guess that's what I get. Dumb mistake for chasing clout. Now I'm at Friendly High, time to take a new route. I looked at my calendar, my birthday's almost here. First day back, I met this kid named Nazir. 
while sitting on the bus chilling in the back he told me i never took it for real but i've always rapped it was also this guy named dexton and him and nas it was potential that i see together we formed the music group cody and t and this part of my life is still going on out of and um i apologize that the journey here was even that long learned a lot about myself i can admit when i'm wrong but my whole purpose here is to tell you i belong not in a hood or a prison cell where the key emotion is fear not in a bar or a club where folks are full of beer not in a casket six feet deep giving my mother all this fear i belong one place and um i, I think that that's here i belong here